guys, welcome to the video, man. It is, as you could tell, snowing. Um, I've been, I get this question a lot with my scat pack. How does the car do in the snow? And so, oh, well, here we are. <laughs> um, I get that a lot. And I, so, today's video, guys, we're going to be knocking out two birds with one snow. Not only are we going to demonstrate really how this car does in the snow, but we'll also go over the Michelin, uh, I want to say the Michelin Super Cup something to that effect. I'll put the name. All season tires. Um, on here, they've been a phenomenal tire, by the way. So, um, as you can see here, we are legitimately, you know, this is, uh, ooh, okay, traction control is kicking in. We are legitimately at unprepped, uh, well, untreated roads, I should say. They have not gotten to them yet, so. Um, we're going to kind of take it easy, go down some slower roads, and really show you guys how this car does in the snow, because I get this question a, a lot, as you can imagine. I've driven in the snow and never actually done a video for you guys, really demonstrating how it does. I'm going to break a little early, especially with cars, because it looks like, okay, looks like the roads are actually kind of clear, so, <clears throat> nonetheless, let's get on the road and talk, shall we? I think it's important, you know, the way I answer this question is, is this car good in the snow? And the answer will always be no. Now, that doesn't mean you can't drive it in the snow and be safe in the snow. Um, it really comes down to who you are and, more importantly, the type of tire that you have. Um, I'll link it in the description. I've done another video with my Mustang last year. I want to say it was last year. With my Pirelli Sat Zero tires. Now, those tires really are night and day difference from other traditional tires because it's a snow performance tire and even when I'm spinning I, I have a lot of control so uh, it's a phenomenal tire nonetheless these are, are still all season tires but back to my point here it really depends on who you are so if you are used to rear wheel drive cars uh, particularly V8s then the 392 really shouldn't be that far off uh, I've had other rear wheel drive cars, like I said, my last car I still have is my V8 Mustang, uh, which has snow performance tires on it now, so it's a real appropriate tire, but, uh, sure, I'll slip here, <laughs> um, so I'm used to it, but if you're coming from, like, you know, another performance today and you're interested in 392, say, like, an all-wheel drive BMW or an all-wheel drive Audi, and you haven't had a rear-wheel drive car, then this might be <laughs> a little tricky. Um, you know, these cars, they are fine if, like, you have to go out in the snow. I wouldn't recommend it if you have a lot of snow. Either my recommendation, like, the best case scenario, if you really want a rear-wheel drive performance car, especially a V8, would be to have designated snow tires. Then, I really think you could do a lot. Um, these Michelins do okay, but I have to keep in mind that these are still all season tires they're not dedicated snow tires and they do great I mean so far I've done a video of them in the rain and they do great in the rain like they're they definitely went above my expectations in the rain uh, in the snow I, I just they're probably going to be I doubt they'll go above my expectations in the snow because snow is snow and these are still all season tires so So as you can see here, I am maintaining traction, going around a turn, the road is, well, they might have, might have plowed it, I, I, it doesn't look like they got to these roads yet to me, so, and we do have traffic, and I'm going to keep my distance for obvious reasons, but this is just kind of showing you guys how the car is, it's not like I'm all over the road, um, I am an experienced driver with performance vehicles, particularly rear wheel drive cars in bad weather, I've been driving them since I was literally a teenager, so, these cars don't phase me. Have I been in nerve wracking situations? Yes, I have. I really wish I filmed the one day I was in my Mustang and I got cut off in a blizzard by a Jeep. I, I literally took, I was on the uh, parkway, maybe it was a turnpike. Um, it was a three lane highway nonetheless, and I took up all three lanes. I really thought I was coming to a ditch. Like I, I did. <laughs> skill level or no skill level, I just, I, I couldn't believe I saved that. I was definitely some luck involved nonetheless 
So I want to get on the major highway here in a second, uh, see how that road's looking, and uh, we'll chit chat a little bit more about how this car does in the snows. I can show you guys. So here we are, going to go around a turn now. Obviously, like any other car, you want to brake sooner. Uh, you don't want to go around turns fast, especially, God forbid, your front tires lose traction. They're going to have a real issue. And obviously, the more common issue is when your rear tires lose traction. So I'm taking it easy around here. Uh, turns are where I get nervous, accelerating, trying to stay straight. It's a little easier to predict and, and, and handle. Um, it looks like like the highway somewhat yeah well really it's not all that great either honestly so once again you can see like this Audi right here if you're coming from something like that into a real wheel drive car um, yeah this this might be kind of scary and sketchy but I'm showing you guys what it's like you can still see as I'm driving very carefully and very cautiously that the car is stable um, once again Obviously, if you get a little overzealous with the throttle, it's going to be a problem. Accelerating. I'm accelerating okay. I got the Audi next to me. Um, but so far, I'm going to get over. Switching lanes. No type of hiccup. No type of issue. My Audi's about to run into that minivan right there. Um, yeah, I think we're doing pretty good, honestly. Oh God, saw it. Oh God. Houston, we have a problem. Uh, all right, on that note, like the video. I'm getting salt thrown on my car for you guys. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, that was upsetting. All right. <laughs> Back to the video, guys. Like I said, I'm slowing down early. Um, so once again, guys, I hit to be repetitive, as you can see. Um, now the road's starting to get kind of clear, but driving cautiously, just like anyone else is on the road, by the way, uh, the car's pretty stable, pretty fine. Obviously, depending on where you live, um, if you're getting a lot of, if you're at a foot of snow right now, like any other standard vehicle, it's going to be an issue. So, uh, once again, your tire's going to be super important. So either you need to have a really good tire, you can't be throwing them Chinese tires on here if you have bad weather, um, or... The, the best case scenario if you really want a vehicle like this is a dedicated snow tire uh, which I've, I've done in the past I wouldn't mind doing for this as well um, so that would be my recommendation we're going to turn around up here and uh, we can see how the car does hit you turn in this BS I do like to do a little engine braking uh, in bad weather a little you know, like obviously if you really start downshifting uh, it's going to be an issue <laughs> so I got no cars coming so it's be a good time to try to get going here we go honestly uh, no hiccup there guys I mean that was okay I mean, that was pretty good all right a Dodge dealership. Maybe I need the TRX or Trackhawk. So, uh, I guess my next, you know, I don't know what that is. Uh, Porsche, maybe? Can't tell what that one car is. Well, you know what, guys? Comment below uh, I love the interaction, by the way. Tell me what you're driving in bad weather. Do you drive a 392? Do you drive something that's a rear-wheel drive V8? What are you guys driving in the snow? What's your input? If you have a 392, do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think it's a nightmare? Do you like? Do you recommend it? It's so hard for me to answer that question. I get it all the time. Like, how is it in the snow? It's it's okay, but it ain't good. It's doable, but depending on who you are. Um, like I said, I'm now in my 30s. I've had, uh, I've driven sports cars or performance cars in bad inclement weather, like, since my driving career, um, and I got my Mustang when I was 21, and that was literally my daily driver, just like this is, and I've driven that thing in way worse weather than this, um, so, 
I don't know how all this is showing up on camera, but it's it's pretty nasty out. Alright, shop here Chihuahua. And the trash patrol does a really good job by the way. There's a little bit of trash in the front wheels. Slipping a little bit. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be sliding. <laughs> what are you going to do? Eh, car still goes. Take this in spot right here. Two hours later. It's a uh, Fisker. Oh, the Jaguar for a quick second. I mean, it comes out a little bit, you know? Uh, I had actually traction control off so I can actually get the momentum. Once again, I, like I said, I'm kind of used to... That's one of the... Be careful with that little trick, but sometimes, like, traction control, you actually just can't get going if it's too shitty. So you actually got to turn it off and just kind of, like, rock your way out of it and, you know, be prepared to be able to, you know, counter steer a little bit. But that actually was, I think these tires are impressing me. I think this car might be, uh, like I said, if you have cheaper tires on here, I, I would be way more sketched about this car. But it does have pretty good tires on here. Obviously, best case scenario, if you want this car, get a snow performance tire. Um, like, the, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, the sock zeros. Um, that's how I've always pronounced it, but most likely, uh, probably not pronouncing it properly. Um, so that's sort of the key things, in my opinion. You guys are seeing it now. You see how the car does. Um, a, you got to drive carefully. B, a good set of tires. If not, designated snow tires. And obviously, it depends where you live. Um, you know, if you're in an area that gets worse snow than where I am, or I'm in New Jersey, right outside of Philadelphia here. Um, you know, you'll know better than me at that point. <clears throat> Obviously, the other thing I'm thinking about is how well the roads are prepped. You know, um, that's another big factor. But, coming through here pretty easily. Yeah, this car's like, the tires are impressing me. They really are. Like, I gotta be careful with the braking. And then, obviously, I don't want my front tires to lose traction here and just slide right off the, the damn turn here. But as far as just getting some traction in the rear, uh, they're doing a pretty damn good job. I mean, I'm turning, going uphill, and I'm able to accelerate. If you had shitty tires, you'd probably really be spinning there. Um, which can be fun if you're in an open parking lot. Maybe we'll find one of those real quick. But, go back to the shitty roads. So, I guess we could wrap the video up, guys. What is my final uh, thoughts? So like I said, two birds, one stone here. Um, thoughts on the car? I think the car is doable. I think you need to figure out if it's right for you. I think it's crucial that if you're gonna do this car and you and you live where you can get snow or even rain, tire, tire, tire. You know, if if you can, get a set of designated snow tires, maybe another set of rims, pop them on during the winter time. If it's a winter performance tire, they do great even in the dry. Um, Second thing is these particular tires are also great. I've done another review on, on these tires. I'll link them below. Uh, these uh, Michelin Pilots Cup, whatever they are, all season, um, actually are impressive. I mean, they are doing a little bit better. Uh, because they're all season, I don't hold them to high regards. Uh, all season tires to me have always just been shitty at everything, basically. That's always been my experience. But these have been impressive to me in every way. Um, granted, I am used to throwing uh, cheap tires on this car, so maybe having a more expensive set of tires on this is changing the way I'm thinking about it. But once again,
once again guys here I'm out here in the snow getting salt thrown in my car risking the chance of someone plowing into me so please at all my videos smash the like button comment below tell me what you think I will see you guys next freaking video stay warm